Hello, hello viewers. Thanks for tuning in to another video. Um, cheers to you. I really appreciate you watching and I hope you enjoy this. This is going to be unlike any other video that I've posted yet. Super fun, super excited. And uh, I'm bringing to you today the Palm Springs Invitational. It will be known as PSI from here on out. Um, and, and long story short, basically it's a group of 20 imbeciles getting together, breaking clubs, uh, losing golf balls, but there will be a lot of vibes. Uh, there will be a lot of sandbagging. I can guarantee you there will be a lot of club swords. That's a fact. And then of course, there will be a lot of drinking involved. Um, you know, it, it's going to be a really good time. And so the format of this is going to be 36 Friday, 36 Saturday, and then 18 single Sunday. So just to give you an idea, we're going to be broken into five teams of four, and it's going to be color coordinated. So we have here on team, um, I guess team one, or we'll call it team green, Tom Flynn, Pat Flynn, Brian Farley, and Jonathan Schlecht. Uh, we have team two or team orange as the second one. That's going to be Mark Steidler, Steve Biggin, Josh Morrison, and Jacob Hotman. Team three, we have team gold, aka team sandbagger. Um, Sandbaggers, plural, I guess there's multiple, not just JP, but we have JP DePasso, James Parnum, Joe Creekmore, and Alex Andrews. Um, fourth, we have Team Perp. And Roback, if you're watching, come on, give me a sponsorship, give me something. Uh, we were hyping you all up all weekend. Throw us, throw us a little something, something for PSI 2023. It'd be awesome, go a long way. Feature you on the channel. All 50 viewers or subscribers of mine, I'm sorry. You know, uh, I'll put in a good word for you. But Team Purple, fourth team, it's myself, Goose, Ben Porter, Katie Flynn. And then last but not least, we have Team Blue, Kevin Ong, Marshall, Triggs, AKA Paul Trigero, and Petey Baltimore, AKA Pete DeCandia. Um, those are the five teams and just what to expect over the weekend. So um, the first 18 holes is going to be all with your team. We're calling it Tri-Ball. So basically everyone's gonna play their own ball. For anyone that knows what like um, kind of low ball is, everyone plays their own ball, then you take the lowest score. It's that concept, but you're gonna do it with the top three lowest scores. And then the highest one, you'll just kick out. And then every hole you're gonna combine. Um, so that's going to declare a, a point total at the end. And then that point total is going to land you in either first, second, third, fourth, or fifth. Where first place has 15 points, second place has 10. Third is seven, and then I think it goes like five and two. I'll double check that and I'll try to post it right here, but I believe that's the scoring. Uh, the second 18, it's going to be, uh, what do we call it officially, but um, I, I think it's just called Team Tilt. But basically for anyone that's ever seen like the no laying up guys, um, if you know how kind of like, um, I guess it's called Tilt for what it's worth, but basically it's like a Stableford scoring. It's a little bit modified, so, Double bogeys are minus four, bogeys zero, par is two, birdies four, eagle eight, albatross 16. However, you can get a tilt multiplier. So if you get a birdie or higher, your multiplier goes up. And then for the next hole, depending on what you get, uh, the point values can either be double, tripled, so on and so forth. Um, it, it sounds super complicated and it actually was very complicated. Um, Pat, you owe me at least like three or four strokes for trying to calculate and manage my team while doing this. Um, but it's the same thing where depending on how your team does as the total points, first place gets 15, second gets 10, third gets seven, fourth gets fifth, and then last gets a second. So that'll be the second um, 18. The following day, we finally break out of our groups and then we'll go into 2v2 match plays. So, the first 2v2 is just pure kind of match play low ball or four ball. Lowest scoring, keep in mind that all handicaps are tied to this. So um, handicaps will be applied. There's formulas and I know Commissioner Pat had figured out, especially for the 2v2s, how to do, I think your the, the higher handicap gets 40% applied, the lower handicap gets 60%. All the math is there, it all checks out. Um, if you don't believe me, then I guess stop, stop tuning in, just turn off turn off the video. Um, just kidding, I actually need and want the views, keep viewing. Uh, but basically, uh, we're gonna have two V2s. I'm gonna try to post the matchups right here of what they look at, uh, look like. 
And then for the afternoon round, and this is personally my favorite, I think it's just something about not really keeping track of score, but just competing, but it's going to be alternate shot. And I'm gonna post those matchups right here. And then last but not least, we will have single Sundays. So everyone will be paired up, handicaps will be applied. Um, each of these matchups will be worth eight points. Uh, so they're actually very, very important. Oh, and I forgot, on the, on the Saturday matchups, Every 2v2, I believe, is worth 12 points. So um, long story short, you're going to battle it out for points using those formats. And then whoever the highest uh, has the most amount of points after the weekend will be declared the PSI winner. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned. Hopefully you enjoy some of the highlights. And just to clarify, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get every single group or individual. Um, I was kind of only able to grab a few shots from from my group people in front or behind as you can imagine i was focused and locked into trying to go low but i did whip out the camera if and when it made sense so not full rounds or not full holes but hopefully enough to get you excited to see how palm springs beautiful courses by the way um how it worked but uh yeah thanks for tuning in let me know what you think What's up guys? This is uh, official match one of the first annual Palm Springs Invitational. We are in Palm Springs, California. This is Desert Willow, the Palm Course. Look how beautiful it is. This is great. Look at these scumbags right there. Are you on the T-Box first? Welcome to the laser show. Wow, this guy's on the T-Box first. We have 20 people, four teams, uh, five teams of four. Look at this first tee shot. It's fucking beautiful. Um, Commissioner Pat. Let's go P fly. All right, man. Let's see it. All right, on the tee box, we got Pat Flynn. Oh, get in the hole. Left rough. He bombed it. God, look at look at all the pressure he had with this man. Unbelievable, especially with this guy, Sandbagger right there. Dead center. Hey, Katie, let's go. Get up, get up, get up, get up.
Goose's drive on the short four. Pretty good. Good shot, Katie. Hell of a shot, Katie. Perp is vibing. That's Goose's eagle putt on a par five. He's like got a 15, 20 footer. I missed a little bit, but I got a birdie putt and I'm draining this. Oh 
Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no! <laughs> Oh, shocker. 270 down the middle. Goose, let me get a club sword one time. Hey, what's going on guys, just checking in. We have uh, 36 under the belt today, day one officially over. Uh, extremely exhausted, it's funny. I'm physically hurting and physically tired, but obviously I'm a golf DJ and an addict and I'm just fired up and pumped and you know ready to go for the next 36, which <laughs> funny enough, I think is gonna be in about six hours. Uh, so anyway, just a quick debrief of the day. Um, we didn't tally up the scores yet, so we actually don't know where we stand in terms of Team Tilt and the Tribal. Um, I think we'll be up there though, if I if I had to guess. I think we played pretty well. Um, Goose is legit. Goose, if you're watching this, you're a stud. I think you know that. I think he missed, I'm not kidding, out of like 30 possible fairways. He might have hit like 29 of them. Um, dude is automatic. Um, Katie and Porter held their own. Porter, I think, scored really well on the tilt portion. So hopefully that big number will help us. But uh, I'm going to sign off here. Need some rest and see you in about five, six hours. So until then. Oh, shit. We'll go with, uh, let's see. We have to take some at the turn. But I'm talking about the turn after nine. So if I take three now, three at the turn three after the full 18 and then another three do you think nine in about seven eight hours is good wish me luck <laughs> hi big dog no, I'm so actually, it's good. 36 oh, holes in 54 you cut the practice yeah. round how are we feeling what's the vibe about as stiff as a human can possibly feel right now okay we're stiff um I need to get in there and do my stretching routine <laughs> hopefully loosen up a little bit so I can um, hit it 200 off the team, perhaps. <laughs> 200 actually generous. We got James and Pat. We are 36 holes in. How are we feeling? Team's goal number one. How are we feeling? How are we looking? What's the vibe so far? Vibe. Out of control. Team gold taking home the ship. <laughs> That's a joke. Uh, swing's kind of in the wilderness. You know, We're going to find something today. Yeah. If we don't... You know how it's gonna be we, ugly. we put a pair of headphones like in your backpack or something, and instantly it just becomes a ball and a knot. That's my lower back right now. <laughs> my lower back is those headphones. Let the record show his lower back is not looking great. James has a hype bad birdie though. That is kind of hype. Let's go. We got day two. We're playing Tok Queets, Tok Keats Creek. Little driving range action. Grass tees, beautiful mountain view. There's my opponent in orange. Guy's a joke. We got the best wedge player I've ever seen in my life right there. We are in beautiful Palm Springs. We're on, this is a par five of some sort. This is one of the more desert courses. You can see the grass is kind of deadish. I don't know. Beautiful course, the ball flies out here. It's great, I feel like a long hitter, it's fantastic. Let's go. Great strike. Oh my god. She just shot 
shave the baby draw. Get in the hole, a little left. It's leaking right. I think she's in the sand. Shit, that works. It's in play. Got goose on the tee box. We got big city goose. Oh yeah, be the number. Be the number. God, goose. We got tea skinny on the tee box. All right, cart cam, we got me and K-Fly. Just finished our match. Uh, everyone's gonna think, oh, Mark, you must have destroyed them. Katie legit won. Katie, how many do you think? Like five, to, like maybe four or five holes? A couple holes, yeah. No, she didn't win a couple. You know Katie. Uh, she killed it, she's looking great. Weather's great, we're vibing. We're gonna have fun the last uh, five holes. We're gonna PR, it's great. We got Pat coming in hot. You're gonna stick this green, I'm feeling it. Here it comes. Ooh, looks good. Wow. We got goose. I guess it's like 120-ish from there into a par five. Here comes Goose. Looks pretty. God, Goose is dancing. But Pat is closer, wow. We're on a par four, here's Steve's second shot. About 150 out. Ooh, hit it good.
Wedge King Stides. This is gonna stick it close. Oh my god, be good, be good. Ah, go, go, go. Need a little bit more. You thought I liked the Texas Wedge. This guy's, <laughs> wow. We need it for the good round. Probably no more than a wedge, is my guess. Um, you got a number, Steve? I can get you. I just got off 95 right there. We got two skinny and pack right there. Big city right there. Let's see how they do. Looks useful. Oh, a little back chatter. Hey, T skinny, I see you. Here comes Goose. This is definitely being stuck in close. It's big city. Nice ball, Goose. Ooh, a little cheddar as well. If you guys make Goose putt that, that's a shame. He's automatic from there. Okay, All right, here we go. We got P-Fly. Wow, step off. Good step off, Pat. All right, here comes. All District Hands team. Oh, useful. Go in. Oh, this is stroke. Go in, Goose. Hell of a putt, Goose. Better give that to Goose. Wow. All right, we got Tom. I don't know if this is for, but. This is for par. I chucked one. Ooh, Tom's par, but here we go. I nuked it. It's not breaking at all. He's a putting machine now, though. We're not even worried. Like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going for par. Got one. Golf clap. Golf clap. All right, really quick for everyone gets stressed. We need a we need a round debrief. P fly. 88? 88. Okay. I had to start playing a chippy sort of half swing thing because just the full swing was in trouble. Uh, but we made it work. We made it work. Adapt and overcome. You know? <laughs> Three and two. So much adversity with this guy, but just shoves it, punches it in the face. T fly. It's 83, huh? 83, yeah. So it was an interesting day. Driver felt weird in my hands, so I switched to five iron. And I have an 86% of fairway and regulation. I've never even seen 40%, let alone 86%. Um, no three putts, so it's definitely a good one. Just no three putts, you, you don't have to hit shit. driver. You do not have to hit driver. Wow. 
Yeah. Deuces missed two fairways in, in like three days. What did yeah. I tell you? Yeah. Did I not absolutely? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, Jesus. We got the JP and JP. You yeah. telling me? I didn't even see you yesterday. No, this is great. This is great. No, you guys are like team up right now. It's great. We're supposed to be. It's great. It looks perfect. Yeah, Marshall. Just, I'll do you get a free drop from this. Wait a second. First off, before I answer that, look at this guy's fit. I'm not even gonna ask him. I was gonna ask if this guy lost. There's no way they lost. He didn't lose, right? How could we lose? It's fucking impossible. Let's go, buddy. Uh, uh, what's the all right, we got a feature match here. Uh, I got four strokes on us. JP, Joe, yeah, what's the handicaps here? Jip, how are we looking? What's the deal? God, Thaka Spritz? 42-49 on the first 18. But are we locked for alternate shot? How are we doing? You got Big Dog as your partner. Mm. By the way, this cart, average Still drive real. is 305 from this cart right here. This is a bopping crew. Is this the shot of my life? I'm not even exaggerating. Joe, tell me about it. Talk to me. Uh, Tee shot, OB. Drop. I'm 237 out. There's a hill in front of me. I can't see the pin. Uh, take my three wood. I say to Al, this club has been waiting to get action. Take it out. I put it eight feet. <laughs> 237 out with the three wood, six it to eight feet with no vision. It's the big dog? Wow. Yeah, it's giving me strokes. I was about to shirts because I have to clear that round from my body entirely. I don't know, man. That's a hype shirt. Here we go, buddy. But I gotta get rid of that. Oh, you're good. Yeah, yeah, no, I Just let the record show. This is the two biggest swagger boys right here. Actually, it's the two biggest swagger boys.